I'm Wei Yin Ching from University of Missouri, uh, Kansas City. And um, I'm a fearless, a fearless uh, computational fearless. And uh, so my result would be very condensed. And uh, I think anybody is interested could uh, send me an email. I will answer all the questions. So we have a very small team and uh, consist of uh, the Hikali and uh, two very capable graduate students, uh, PhD student, uh, Mr. Jawa and uh, Sen, and an undergraduate student, uh, uh, Ms. Namik. You know. So we are supported by uh, NSF, a lab project, which is in the condensed matter and the materials theory section of uh, NSF. And uh, since we are a computational scientist, we have to rely a huge amount of computational resources. And this was provided by the Department of Energy Supercomputer Center um, and called NERSA. So I want to start uh, um, the, uh, the next slide. And uh, so I say something about the background and uh, why we want to start to uh, study the spark protein because uh, this uh, is uh, uh, the protein bonds to the uh, host cell yeah, receptor. If we, most of the people know what uh, is uh, going on there. And uh, so it plays a critical role in the infection. So the structure and the properties of this uh, and internal bonding uh, is not fully understood. Yeah. So we have to use the world-class supercomputer facilities to do our initial calculation based on density functional theory for this uh, large molecular system. You know, and uh, this type of calculation is very rare and uh, because it's very resource consuming and it's very challenging. So our goal is to have fundamental understanding based on quantum mechanical methods and the entire atomic and intra-atomic amino acid network, including the hydrogen bonding. You know. So we also, of course, the main focus is to train the next generation of scientists uh, in this uh, very important area of material science, because I was trained as a material research and uh, I work in uh, uh, condensed matter physics, uh, in um, chemistry and uh, biophysics. You know. So biomaterials are very important. So, uh, so I want to first report some of the latest achievement and uh, we have the structure optimization of seven basic uh, structure domains in the spark protein, which is uh, uh, right here. This is the free chains and uh, the chain A is, uh, has uh, seven different uh, uh, domains and each of them consists uh, up to several thousand atoms. And we have to do the computation for all the, these seven domains together, you know, and, uh, and in, investigate their covalent and hydrogen bonding and the partial charge distributions. You know, and we also developed a key parameter called amino acid, amino acid bond pairs, which would be able for us to do the three dimensional amino acid interactions. So we so far have published three papers. If any of you are interested, please send me an email. So the currently the ongoing projects we did is the interface modeling which we combine the molecular dynamics with DFT calculation. And this is even more challenging. And uh, we also try to calculate the rigidity of each of the spark uh, domains because the rigidity is uh, very important in any biological system when they are under temperature change or stress. Yeah. We are also currently working on the mutation modeling which is the D614G, which if it is in the news, uh, that uh, those are the variants of uh, different uh, uh, coronavirus and uh, is in the news almost every day. You know. We also want to improve the computational methods and the codes used for large data generation. So this is uh, a figure about the um, 
and the mutation model with water molecules included. And this is the preliminary result on the rigidity. And uh, so we have a free manuscript currently now and the population in the world takes us at least uh, two or three months. Yeah. So this comes down to the one of the last slides. So we, our project will finish by the May 31st, which is only a one year project for the NSF lab. So we would, um, before we end the project, we will extend our computational modeling to drug design, but for some selected models by adding of the very short peptides. So this is an example of two, um, two models, which we would, uh, sort of for uh, uh, start to model, which is called the LCB1 and uh, LVB3. These are the uh, two short peptides to be inserted at the interface. We also will do extensive mutation modeling and uh, on the analysis of the following cases, and in addition to the one we are currently working on, this is, there are many new variants according to the B117 uh, uh, um, <coughs> report from uh, um, COG United Kingdom. You know? So these are the four examples and there are many more. You know? And uh, we also want to longer go is to extend computational modeling to cover much larger biomolecular systems. Even though we are doing our initial calculation at this moment, it's one of the largest computation that can be envisioned, but uh, we are more ambitious want to extend to even larger systems. So on the other hand, we are very ambitious. We want to advocate the use of large scale computational modeling for biomolecular systems that can rifle or even uh, complement the experimental techniques in accuracy and at a much reduced cost. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the end of my talk. <laughs>